here's another tip video I wanted to make. I think these are pretty important stuff for the guitar practice journey. Let's get straight to the point. Number one, whatever you're practicing, only focus what you're bad at. For example, if you're training a specific song and you can play it truly like 90% of the song then there's 10% probably a solo or something else that you cannot play that well so basically you're, you can play the whole song except some parts of it instead of grinding the whole song truly every time you're practicing place where you're bad at just practice the place you are bad at the solo is good example or it, it might be a certain technique just do to practice repeatedly at the point where you are bad at. So if the song is 5 minutes long and there is 20 second spot that you still need to work on. You don't need to like play the whole song truly from zero to end because you already know how to play the rest of the songs. Very good example of my practice journey is the song Amon Amar, Way of the Vikings. I've been training this song for... I don't know, maybe over over a year now, and the song rhythm parts are very very easy to play, but the solo of the song is actually really hard. I'm struggling to play the solo in this song. Let me play the solo as good as I currently can at the moment. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still struggling a lot. Of course, I'm practicing the solo with slower speed. I'm not like rushing the song. I'm not rushing to practice solo with the full speed, like truly, because it's not really effective. It's always good to stop at the spots with the slower speed and then you increase the speed once you get uh, better with the spots you're bad at. And that's the way you can train it correctly and eventually nail it. So in this song, 12 Vikings, the solo part, which I just played, I think I would learn it faster if I just spend more time practicing the solo but since I'm practicing a lot of other songs and other stuff also I'm like going on and off with this song and the solo this is one of the reasons why I'm learning it so slowly so it's up to you if you want to learn it fast or slowly play something else instead of like grinding the places you're bad at in a certain song I'm gonna show the tablatures for the song next just so you see quickly how the song is going. Here is the tabla tour for the song, for the lead guitar. Here is the beginning of the song. It's actually really easy, slow spaced song. Some really easy riffing here, tremolo picking. Chorus is a bit more difficult, but it's really easy to learn after a short time of practice. But here's the solo. So this is really fast and difficult. <laughs> There are some spots I'm playing it wrong. I think it's alright. When you're covering a song, you don't need to play it like spot on with notes as long as it sounds good. Okay, and then we're going again, trimmer picking and uh, the ending of the song. It's a song is really really easy to play besides the solo. Okay, and the second tip is that record your playing to Reaper or any other digital audio workstation. This is really important because if you think that you're playing good and once you are recording to Reaper, for example, you actually realize that you're not playing good if you are a newer player. This is what I realized when I played along with the songs. Uh, I talked I'm playing good and once I decided to start to cover songs like recording my playing to Reaper, I realized that okay my skills aren't good enough for me to cover this song for example. But I learned back then I need easier songs if I want to cover them because it just sounds awful. So recording to Reaper and then you realizing that okay I need to do better with my playing is drastically increased my my learning curve and uh, it increased my skills play the guitar because I see my mistakes I hear my mistakes so I know where I need to improve by reflecting what I'm doing so when you are recording to Reaper uh, this is how it looks like well not exactly because I just covered a song that is Lordy would you love a monster man and I'm doing this with my friend so here's a lot of tracks going on my friend vocals and the original track without guitars and then my guitars here but if you look at if you do it simple way that you just recording into your own Reaper so basically 
because you're only going to have one track here and then you're recording one track then you can hear what's going on F just for an example now i put that or i soloed this one track here just to demonstrate here is one of the guitars It's a raw, completely raw track that's coming in Reaper when you are recording to audio. So this is a very good place to see all your mistakes, what you're playing. So please do this, record your playing to Reaper. This is really, really, really good thing to do. First tip was fo only focus to practice what you're bad at while you are learning new songs and while you're learning the new songs record the stuff in Reaper so then you actually can hear if you're even playing parts you think you're playing good that you will be playing them good enough. Let's move on. Third tip is that have a plan. So practice new songs, new techniques, look at theory of days. It's just, you just need to practice something. But if you don't know what you're practicing, it might be like, okay, what I'm doing next? You're, you're, you're grabbing the guitar and you're like, what the hell I'm doing with it? It might be frustrating. Doing something like picking up several songs to practice, taking tabla tours, playing alone. And this is the place where you're learning the songs and you can learn new techniques and uh, get better with them. But also music theory is a good thing to learn. It's something also that you might be a bit lost. What music theory you should be learning so it's like finding something to learn next for example notes on the fretboard or playing or improvising through different scales for example might be a good idea just find backing tracks in youtube and then just start to improvise over the backing track with your guitar it's also a good thing to do as long as have some kind of plan practice routines so you already must know what to do next you can film videos to youtube if you feel like like you can then see uh, how you're improving and then you're going to check your playing a year back that okay i was so bad year ago and i'm much better so you actually see you've been improving and the fourth tip is that find the best or right gear for yourself what i mean by this that if your guitar is bad it is bad if your amplifier is bad it's bad my first guitar was actually really bad i still have it because have it fit history i'm going to show you that guitar six and a half hours later so here's my first guitar Ibanez RJ42, some black model, I'm not sure. And I think this was bad decision to buy this. It sounds very muddy and awful, at least in my hands. Well, now it sounds a bit better because I've been improving with my playing, but for like newer guitarists, this was really shit guitar to play. So make your research and make sure you're buying a guitar that actually sounds good. And, and it's easy enough to start practicing. Also, my first amplifier was Roland Cube 40XL, and it's not actually bad amplifier. I still have it if I'm playing with my friends, but I think it's still big worse. Uh, decent guitar, there's coming, you know, decent quality sound out of that amplifier. So it's much better idea to, you know, play with the computer, just get to re Reaper, for example, audio interface, and then just plug in your guitar and find the plugins from online to install into Reaper and just play through your headphones or speakers. I have videos regarding about the good uh, plugins and how to set up with your audio interface and Reaper. If you're interested, I can also do an video regarding how to play with your computer to get more specific and better videos how to do it okay and the last tip fifth tip is to find like-minded people to play or practice with so if you're like me uh, playing at your home with your guitar it might get lonely so it's good to have you if you can find friends to play with or even better if you can find some casual band so you can actually put your skills into action playing with your fr friends in gar garage and uh, cover some songs and have fun with your friends just whatever find other musicians or people to talk with so then you get motivation to keep going so it's not so lonely journey for you to do because practicing the instrument is is pretty lonely stuff when you're doing it at home so finding a place or people to go along with your journey is a really good idea so this was another tip video i think i have like several tip videos about different subjects but i think these ones are really important to go through on guitar journey so subscribe like and comment below and see you in the next video